Hey there, YouTubers. It's Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Thank you so much for tuning back in. Today we have a question from one of our viewers. He said, hey, is there a way to uh, basically type onto Excel? Actually, he asked if you could select a, an actual field from a table that is in Word. Um, in this video, we are going to delve into taking Excel into Microsoft Word but we're not going to get as specific as locating a certain field in Word um, from possibly a table in there. Um, but we're going to get into uh, the first part. We're going to open up Excel and we're going to jump in there and and uh, place some content inside Word uh, through Excel. So of course to get started uh, first of all let's type something in uh, cell A1 um, How's it going? And the answer, of course, is awesome. Okay, so A1 is is jazzed up now. So perfect. All right. Now, uh, what I've learned, and yes, I, I don't know everything, so I actually had to do a little research on this one. What I learned from scouring the web is that uh, by default. Uh, the word properties are not in Excel. You actually have to go under tools and references and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that to access that library. But normally if you try to dim uh, something as a word, Microsoft Word dot something or other, you can't do it. It's not even going to show up. But if you click on tool, um, where are my manners? Hit Alt F11 to get here. We're in the Visual Basic Editor. Okay. Um, then you go to tools and then references and from here you're going to zoom down quite a bit because they are alphabetized Microsoft uh, Word 14.0 or whatever Microsoft Word object library is what you want click OK and now check this out so we're going to say we're going to dim the uh, Microsoft Word um, you could call it application or program or whatever you want to call this. You could call this blob, but it doesn't mean much to you. Dim word app as word dot application and just hit enter. The next thing we're going to declare and oh, where are my manners again? Let's erase this. What we need to do actually um, is create a new module. I'm getting ahead of myself, aren't I? Uh, go over here and click New Module. So now we got a new one. Now we need to create a procedure. It's just as easy as typing the word sub and hitting spacebar. So what are we going to name this one? We're going to call it um, uh, Shove Data to MS Word. That's a crazy long title, but that's alright. I can do what I want. So we're going to, again, we're going to declare the word app as a word dot application we're going to declare w document as word dot document pretty self-explanatory right we're just declaring our variables we got w app and w doc alright so it's my understanding that this next step actually opens word when it's run but it Word is not visible yet until you make it visible. So the next step is uh, we're going to set w app uh, equals I think it's a create object and in inside there you're going to put a quotes and you're going to say um, word dot application and spell it right unlike me so create object word dot application and that I believe this line when it's run actually opens up Microsoft Word in the background but it's not visible for some reason so then you say w app dot visible equals true and that shows it up for you um, so again this opens up word and this displays it so what we're doing is opening up a uh, the application of Word, uh, but we haven't opened up a new document yet. 
Okay, the next step is kind of like in kind. We're going to use the set, but we're going to use set um, the actual document up. So we're going to set wdoc or whatever you name this one equals. Let me try to remember this here. Um, I think we're going to use the actual application, and you can put a period after it, and it gives you more options. So it's going to be wapp uh, dot not activate dot documents dot add, um, and that step is where you actually add a new document and it opens that up and so in, in order to affect what's going in there what we want to do is we actually want to shove whatever's in cell A1 you may want to do something different but we want to shove whatever's in A1 or you can automate that if you've seen my other, seen my other videos you know that you can pretty much customize where you want it to go you, you could have it go to the last line using the XL up um, or you might want to manipulate whatever's in there and add or subtract based on I don't know you there's all kinds of different ways that people may want that to go alt F11 so we're gonna go back here W doc dot you notice ever since we declared these two things uh, we now have features after we put a period so W doc uh, that's our current document that we just opened up dot what is it is it create I know it starts with a C hmm. okay it's a I think it's content. wdoc.content Wow, you can you can tell I really got this down pat, huh? Okay, it's insert something rather. Insert before insert uh, insert after okay what are we going to insert we're going to insert let's try a1 let's try range a1 okay let's try this hit F8 with me and let's debug through so first of all we're, we're opening a word in the background and you notice that step took uh, a couple seconds so you know I was doing something pretty big so it just opened up word in the background um, dot visible equals true so once we hit that and now it's visible you see in the background okay set wdoc is w the application dot documents dot add so add a new document to the program so hitting F8 and now we've got a new fresh word document you can see behind me all right now uh, wish me luck here so range a1 we're wanting to take the content of the current document dot insert after and we want the thing that we're inserting is whatever's there so let's see what happens hit f8 oh snap it says how's it going awesome okay that's actually pretty sweet all right, so um, let's do it all from scratch. Let's go ahead and close out Word here. Gonna save this. Uh, we'll be sharing this workbook in our shared Dropbox folder, so if you don't have access to that, check out all my video links pretty much all of them have that um, you'll want to be able to have instant access to this stuff so you can play with it so you don't have to retype it all so check it out should be a download link this one is called type onto word from Excel so that's the one you'll want to mess with 
what I want to do now is just do it all at once without uh, actually what I want to do is add to that I'm going to use ampersand and I'm going to say play-doh so it's going to say how's it going awesome and then it's going to say play-doh why not so I'm going to hit F5 watch it's just gonna happen right now. Here we go. Three, two, one, F5. So it's running through everything immediately. Uh, how's it going? Awesome. Play-Doh has just been made on a new Word document. All right, so we're gonna play around with more of these fun features. Probably mess with PDFs and Microsoft Word documents a little bit more. It's pretty exciting. Uh, it's new to me. Um, I haven't done a lot of that. I've mostly uh, dealt with Excel, but we're gonna delve into some some new and, and uh, bold to go where nobody's excelled or worded before. Probably not true. Uh, probably a lot of people have messed with this. We're going to check it out here on YouTube, here on Excel is VBA is fun. And uh, that'll be awesome. Thanks for joining me and God bless.